Hello, and welcome to Psychology Demystified. Today's topic covers relationships. Has your relationship become one-sided? Let's find out. A one-sided relationship has consequences that are dramatic for our mental and physical health. It's possible to have entered a relationship and believed and known that it was two-sided, and at some point, once you're in it, you then realize, actually, it's not. And then when you find yourself in a relationship that you discover is not as two-sided as you thought it was, you start to feel emotionally unsafe and find yourself working endlessly to try to make your relationship into what you believe it should be and may never be. This conflict that you start to have within you can cause stress. Stress hormones can also cause physical side effects, which include anxiety and hypervigilance and irritability and difficulty sleeping or insomnia and just generally feeling like you're always on a live wire. But you know what? Even though these one-sided relationships can take a toll, what you find is that in many cases, they typically go on for a lot longer than they ideally should. All that said, the underlying question then becomes, is your relationship truly one-sided? Let's cover 20 signs to see if it is. Number one, you never really and truly feel secure in your relationship. You find yourself second-guessing and overthinking your partner's true motives. You have constant feelings of not meeting the standard or matching up or you feel like you are lacking in some way. After interactions with your partner, you feel empty as opposed to feeling energized and rejuvenated and ready to face the world. You try and try and continue to initiate deepening the relationship and taking it to the next level. And no matter how hard you try, it doesn't work. You find yourself not sharing your true feelings with your partner. When it comes to the relationship, you find that you are the one who always does all the work and always works so hard to try to maintain the relationship. You feel like you've invested so much in the relationship already that you really, really have no choice but to make it work and you simply cannot leave. You just feel like your relationship is a house of cards that could come crumbling down at any moment. You find yourself being afraid of upsetting your partner or of disagreeing with them or causing any conflict of any sort. Your self-esteem, your self-worth, your everything lies in this relationship lasting no matter what. You feel like your partner doesn't really, truly know you. When your partner does something or behaves contrary to what you're hoping, you find yourself making excuses for them. As your relationship progresses, you find that you have little bursts where you connect and you settle for those little bursts of connection. Even though you crave so much more intimacy from your partner, you constantly think about when you're going to see your partner again. And sometimes it becomes one of your worries. You're so involved and so engrossed in your relationship dynamics that they distract you so much that you can't focus on other parts of your life or be present in amazing moments that are going on around you. When you're with your partner, you feel like you're enjoying the moments and they're amazing. But after an interaction with them, you feel like you're alone and lonely. You find that you've had to just stagnate and not grow as a person. You're so keen and so focused on making sure that your partner stays happy with you, that you almost minimize who you are and stop being authentic with them. If you express yourself and tell your partner how you feel, you find that your partner then flips the tables on you and then Eventually, you find that you're the one who starts to feel that you are the root and the cause of all the problems 
in your relationship. If you found yourself recognizing more of those 20 signs I just mentioned than you would like, or you found yourself checking off more boxes than you ideally are happy with, then you are in a one-sided relationship. And the first step is to recognize that you are in one. And the second thing is to start figuring out ways that you can feel good about yourself and what you need that is separate from your relationship so that you can have a gratifying life. Because at the end of the day, you need to keep in mind that you don't need to be with someone who makes you happy. You need to be that someone who makes you happy. According to Tiny Buddha, waiting for someone else to make you happy is the best way to be sad. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves. Wear a mask when you go out. Stay safe. Remember to be kind because you don't know what someone else is going through. And to you, hugs and kindness, always.